Did you know that your members can receive a notification for the order they placed online using the online ordering module, and that they can also receive a notification once their order is ready? These notifications can be sent via an email notification and or push notification via the Clubhouse Online mobile app. Let's take a look at how to configure these notifications. Prior to turning on notifications, the first thing we want to do is ensure both the Jmail parameters and letter designer have been configured. To configure the Jmail parameters, navigate to System Administration, System Setup, and Jmail parameters. Select your company, and for the form type, we want to choose PA Email Member Online Order. From here, you want to select your mail client, enter your SMTP server name, default subject line, from name, and from address. If you need assistance with the SMTP server name, your IT can help. For more information on how to configure your Jmail parameters, watch the video entitled Setting Up and Using Jmail. Once you have filled out these settings, we're going to click Authentication. Here you can decide if a password authentication is required, enter your outgoing mail port, enter a login name and login password. Once you have completed these settings, click OK to save. It is recommended to send a test email to confirm the Jmail parameters are correct. Once you've completed your setup, click OK to save. Note that if you would like to send a confirmation email when an order is ready, you will also need to set up form type P6 email order notification. These Jmail parameters can be configured similar to the P8 email member online order form that we just looked at. Remember that once you've completed your settings, click OK to save. Next, we need to set up the letter designer. To configure the letter designer, navigate over to Administration and Letter Designer. Go ahead and select your company code. And the form type we want to use is Member Online Order Notification Letter. If you need to create a new letter, go ahead and add another document code. Let's take a look at the letter I have here as an example. If creating a new letter, make sure you assign a code and a description. To design your letter, you can simply type in your text box. You can also utilize the info tags found on the right hand side of the screen, including the online order info tags. To add an info tag, place your cursor on the left hand side of the screen, then click and drag your tag over to the screen. As you create your letter designer, you can use the test button to preview what your letter design will look like. Once you are satisfied with your design, go ahead and click OK to save. Now we can go ahead and configure the notification settings for when an order is received. This can be done by navigating over to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Set Up Online Ordering Outlets. Go ahead and select your outlet. Then we're going to select Member Notification. As noted on screen, the email feature requires the Jmail parameters and letter designer to be set up before email notifications can be activated. To turn on the email feature, select Active under Email Confirmation Notification. If the Jmail parameters and or letter designer are not set up, a message will appear indicating they need to be set up first. Optionally add a subject override, which will override the subject set up in the Jmail parameters. Then don't forget to select the letter designer code to be used for the body of the email. You can also choose to add the confirmation number to the end of the subject line within the email. To turn on the push notification feature, select active under push confirmation notification. The hard coded title for a push notification is as follows. You can optionally add additional text for the push notification. A text count will appear to let you know when the maximum character limit has been reached. Here is an example of both an email confirmation as well as a push notification from the member perspective. If you are using both email and push notifications, both will be sent at the same time. When you have configured the applicable settings, click OK to save. 
Now that we've configured the member notifications, members will receive a notification once they have placed their order. Once the order is ready, you can notify the member by using the order notification menu button available on your POS menu design. In order to add that button, we're going to navigate over to Point of Sale, System Setup, and Quick Setup Menu Design. Go ahead and select your menu. From here, you can select an empty button or an existing button that you would like to edit. The button we're looking for is the Order Notification button, which I have here under Order Notify. After double-clicking on the button, here you can add your description, which for example, we have Order Notify. You can change the background color, add a picture, or adjust the text settings. Under the notification method section, enable email if you'd like an email notification to be sent to the member when their order is ready. Just a friendly reminder that the JML parameters are required for the email feature and uses form type P6 email order notification, which is the second form type we looked at when we were configuring JML parameters. Enable push if you would also like a push notification to be sent. Prompt for email address, you can select always to always ask for an email address to be entered, or only if not on file, where an email address will only be required to be entered if the member does not have one in their member file. When you are satisfied with the settings, go ahead and click OK to save your button setup. It may also be useful to add an email chit button. That way, if the member does not want a hard copy of their chit, you can email it to them instead. Now, once a member's order is ready, you can open your POS menu design, and when picking up the chit, you can click the order notification button. Once the email notification has been sent, the order notification button will change to notification sent, confirming the email was successfully sent. If applicable, the member will also receive a push notification at the same time directly to their mobile device. Here is an example of both an email confirmation as well as a push notification from the member perspective. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.